many of you are familiar with the verse in An-Nisa when, uh, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about and beat them? Oh yeah, everybody's heard this. <laughs> Even if you don't know where it is, you heard it because the kuffar are coming at us all the time. Oh, why do you have to beat your wives? Why do you have to beat up your wives? Have you women, you, ladies, you know about this subject where it said in Quran, it's chapter 4, An-Nisa, An verse 34. And it says what? What's the word in Arabic? Huh? From the, fr that's, that's the form used there. What's from what word? Garaba. Garaba meaning to do what? Hit. Hit. And whenever you translate this, subhanAllah, I found one, it's, it's saying, beat your wives. And another one, it said, scourge your wives. Yusuf Ali's translation. Scourge your wives. Scourge, man. Now that's like taking a whip, right? And getting out here and working up a sweat, just bam, boom, bam, bam. Oh, I feel, oh, I'm going to have to take a break, come back to this later. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking right now. <laughs> Too much. So let's ask the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what, what does that mean? Uh, what does that mean? And in the hadith, the clear hadith from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in regard to that verse and that word, he took a tooth stick, a tooth stick, which is miswak, no bigger than a toothbrush today, and on the same order, and he showed this is what you would do and he tapped himself and that's the meaning of it it means a tap and that's all it can mean because that's what he said it means nothing more nothing more that's the meaning tap that's it and then only if it's worth something of value because what it's talking about here it's a beautiful verse it starts out showing the rights of women in this verse and it says that the men Regulin, not, uh, um, not Nas not the human beings but men in particular are the protectors and providers for the Anissa the women Protectors and, and providers, meaning that men have to go to work to protect these ladies and feed them and clothe them and shelter them and care for them. And the women don't have to do squat when it comes to making any money. And if they do make any money, they get to keep it all. Uh -uh. Take beer? <laughs> yeah, I know where that Allah Wakbar came from. <laughs> I'm real popular with the ladies, by the way. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Wait till I tell them the part where they're supposed to bring you jewelry every so often. Do you know about that? You didn't know that? Oh, we'll get to you. We'll talk. Anyhow. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. You're listening to Islam Tomorrow.